Hey, what's up YouTube? Ian here, and you're watching Atkins Nature Aquariums. And today we're going to take a look at this 20 gallon long I got. And it's kind of like my oddball tank. I got some weird looking fish in here. And right off the bat, you're going to notice this African butterfly fish. And if I bring the light forward just a little bit, get a better look at him. He is a gorgeous, well, she. I recently found out that I have a female based off the anal fin. The, the males have more of a step down to the tip of their anal fin. So that's pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll get a male. And then I have this uh, Golden Wonder Killifish male. I do still have the female, but she's in another tank because he was just way too rough with her. She's still pretty small, so I'm going to let her grow out in another tank where she's not getting harassed by this guy. Because he is the pretty much the tank boss. You'll probably see there's a balloon blue ram cichlid in here. And the killifish did take a nip out of his tail to let him know that he's the, uh, the boss. And one of the other little oddballs I got is the snakeskin goby. He's pretty funny looking and just doing good. And he uh, is doing fine in these higher temperatures of 81 highly oxygenated with a sponge filter and a Seacom title 30 or 35 and I do have a lid made of egg crate a little bit of wood coming out look at this dude he's goofy I just love him there's also a little rope fish in here, and uh, he's doing great. Love that guy. I'll put some footage of him up in here. He's doing good. He loves to eat stuff off the bottom and hide it out most of the day, but it's a cool little treat to see him. And you might see some pleco tails here and there. I got a few bristle nose plecos. Most albinos and one super red bristle nose. And that's the little ram that I was talking about. Yeah, he's a funny little guy. I don't know. There's also a little group of autos that I'm going to move out of here soon. There's around four or five of them in here. Madagascar lace isn't doing too good. I gotta give it some root tabs. And there's uh, one more fish in here. That would be my banjo catfish. He's a cool little cat. Cool cats, man. I love my catfish. They're, uh, he hides out a lot, and I rarely see him, like maybe once, twice a month. Oh, the ram's like, oh, I remember you biting me in the tail. Yeah. It's healing up, though. Good, clean water. Water changes, and that's pretty much all it takes to heal them up. Make sure there's nothing, no infections growing on it. And for, for plants, there's this uh, hornwort I got from the club recently. It's doing good. I haven't had too much success with hornwort in the past. But, uh, you know, um, it's nothing special. It's just hornwort. But I do kind of like it. It's very piney, reminding me of. Reminds me of, like, pine trees and stuff. Yeah. You know, speaking is difficult. Uh-huh. 
there's some water sprite in here it'll send um, a little plant to the top and then it'll grow immersed for a little bit and uh, I'll pull that off and put it in another tank so yeah that's kind of like my mother plant water sprite got java fern some hygrophila some java moss and some swasser tang some crypts Look, gotta love some crypts man these guys weren't doing too well for a while but you know they're starting to come back looking real nice got a crinum and some uh, valicinaria in the back as well yeah I like it it's a cool little tank oddball fish and uh I think I'll see you guys next time. That's going to be it for this video. If you like it, you know, smash it. Smash that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what fish is your favorite out of this tank. Or what fish you don't like in this tank. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.